Hey everyone, it's Sandy and I have a layout I'm going to share with you today and I'm using this, the On Trend 2 collection. And this is actually a click kit spring card kit that I picked up about a month ago or so. Anyways, I had a video showing everything that was in that kit and it's jam packed with like embellishments. You get like those really pretty mirrored, um, like the gold mirrored looking ephemera or stickers. You get a six by 12 sticker sheet. There's tons of stuff in that. And anyways, so I decided to pull it out and make another layout with it because I'm not a card maker, but there's so much in this kit, like that full six by six paper pad right there that you can make several layouts with them as well as cards. So anyways, I have this picture of me and Isabel, and this is when we went to Illinois to go and visit Erica, and it was just me and Isabel. Uh, Gabby decided to stay home with her dad for the weekend, so it was just the two of us, and we had a really good car ride up there. So we snapped this picture in the morning after we stopped and got some breakfast, and it's just a really good picture of us. People always say we look alike, and I can really, really see it, especially in this picture. Um, anyway, so... Uh, what I'm doing is I was going to use that 12 by 12 white sheet of paper, but I felt like it needed something on it. So I had picked up a few, like three sheets of the pink paisley fancy free. Is that, yeah, fancy free, the Paige Evans. I picked up like three sheets of that from, I forget which store. Anyways, and I thought, you know what, that pink and peach work perfect with this collection as well. So I cut a strip down or off of it and then I put some gold washi tape that I've had for quite a while so this is everything you get not everything is some of what you get in the kit you get those wood veneers or the, actually the wood veneers I think you do yeah the only thing I know for sure that wasn't is in the kit the 12 by 12 chipboard it was like an add-on and she still has um, several of those in the store if you guys are looking for them I love chipboard I love big chipboard like that that you can cut like I'm going to show you in my layout how I cut the ephemera or the chip by ch oh my goodness I can't talk how I cut the flower down in half so anyways I wanted to add more on my layout so I thought I'm going to see if I still have texture paste I haven't used anything like that in quite a while or my stencils so I did find this uh, gold one that I have and I forget who it's by or even what it's called but it was still working fine it was still you know it wasn't too old or anything like that so I'm just running it through it um, I'm running it through this Tim Holtz stencil that's just a lot of little dots and I love it, it came out really good so I'm gonna see where I put my picture in the middle and I'm just gonna push it up so it can dry and I'm gonna continue to mat a few more layers behind my pictures like I said I know I made one layout with this before so I had a few scraps laying around that I'm just gonna put right here uh, on the sides of my picture and then I'm gonna pull another six by six sheet and mat my picture again with it and the colors are just so pretty and there's lots of gold foiling on this paper so I don't know I just had really fun a lot of fun making the layout so there we are I'm gonna mat my picture here and then I'm gonna decide I do want it right there in the middle, but I'm gonna go ahead and pop it up with some foam tape. So uh, I just added that and there we go. So now here we go, that 12 by 12 chipboard. I love chipboard. Chipboard, puffy stickers, and my India ink. <laughs> <laughs> I love those three things. So I'm going, I'm looking at that and it has this huge flower like embellishment right there. And these are the kind that I like because you can cut them in half and tuck them underneath your picture and they're still really big. You know what I mean? So I don't know. To me, it makes a big difference when I can cut it in half and still have two big pieces left. So um, I'm going to go ahead and stick those underneath my picture right there. And I'm going to be sticking down the second piece here in just a second. And as I'm doing that, like, I really like how clean and how, like, airy my layout looks. I don't know how else to say it. So I decide I'm not going to put a whole bunch on there, but I do want to add a few more pieces to my layout. So after I add those down, and let's see, I'm just holding them down to make sure they stick really well. Because uh, my paper was a little bit warped right there from where I did that little bit of um, paste on it. So anyways, I pulled these three things from uh, the chipboard as well and it says recorded and oh I can't see it recorded memories and notes and anyways I just thought they look really cute right there there was also this you and me sticker that's on the 6x12 a sticker sheet and at first the one part of it wasn't sticking really well so I tried to pull it up I was going to go ahead and add some foam tape but then uh, one part stuck really well and one didn't so I just went ahead and pushed down on it to make sure it was stuck down good so you see those uh, gold 
pieces right there that say charm and sweet those are included in the card kit as well and you're not going to see it here but in my final pictures i did add the word sweet so it says sweet you and me and here are some still shots of my picture i'm going to go ahead and put the link below to my video that was showing everything that was in the card kit in case you wanted to pick it up it is still available and you can use my code sandy10 and get 10 percent off of that and anything in the store so anyways thanks for watching my video and I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.